When Surf Aid started up in this very village, Dr. Dave had some fairly humble objectives. He saw malaria as the biggest problem and mosquito nets as the most obvious answer. We started with malaria and in that area we've had a lot of success. We've also had success in building the health department's capacity in immunization. There's still a way to go, but in one area we've tripled the number of immunizations. But with the 2004 tsunami, SurfAid quickly realized that a much bigger and more fundamental change was needed to really make a difference to these people's health. It's not about expensive medicine. It's not about, you know, even doctors. So it's access to education and behaviors. With literally millions of people in need of aid, there was simply no way that an organization like SurfAid could help every affected individual. What Dr. Dave realized was that the only solution was to demonstrate, not teach with books or lectures, but literally show people by example how to set up gardens, houses, health and sanitation systems so that they could help themselves. And so, SurfAid and Quicksilver joined forces to establish a center that would demonstrate all the exemplary life habits that the Mentawi Islanders could adopt to turn the world around. So these people learn by doing. But what we can do is create a model of change where we can bring them here and they can see and feel and experience it. This is a case study, a change story, a success story. I've been tracking this family ever since the uh, last three years and both the kids have been malnourished. And last time I came, this kid had scabs all over her. She's a gorgeous little thing. You can see the scars there. Okay, yeah, they were just yeah. pussy and scabby and behind her ear. And Dad's been working on the Quicksilver Health Centre there. And we've been teaching him about greens. And last time I dropped into the house, mm. there he was, chopping up tomatoes, chilies and greens and the there wild spinach around. And this is the result. Just add some vitamins, add some minerals, add some greens to the diet and she's doing well. No scabs, she's healthy, she's not anemic and mum's pregnant again nice. and I can tell she's already not anemic. So, Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, she's eating a lot of vegetables. Yeah. So this baby here has got a really good chance. Good stuff. If we can get a 50% reduction in five to eight years, that's a hell of a good turnaround. Could be putting up clinics and treating people would just be an ambulance at the bottom of the cliff. What we're about is actually graveyards that don't have little kids in them in the future and forever. <laughs>